used the social media platform before. Um, she gave really specific examples pretty much immediately about, you know, obviously you need to understand, I haven't used this before, how do I go from there? And she expressed an interest in laying out a specific plan of action. Um, so she talked about using online tutorials, talking to other people, and then using um, it as like a test run before she ever had to actually use it for a specific project, which I thought kind of covered everything that we had talked about in our job description um, very nicely. So that was good. Um, but in her resume and her cover letter both, she didn't um, display, like the resume specifically did not display a high level of like really obvious attention to problem solving skills. Um, there's a brief mention of it, but I didn't feel like that could warrant more than a one. And the same kind of went for her cover letter as well. Um, she mentioned it but it didn't go into specific depth. Um, lastly, to talk about the question about interpersonal skills, um, on the interview, I gave her a two. She gave a really good answer, but it didn't answer the question. So she talked immediately about how she would interact specifically with the person that she felt was causing a problem. Um, she talked a lot about face-to-face -face interaction, um, how she would approach it, um, using like empathy and compassion to kind of understand where they were coming from, which I thought was interesting from kind of a mediation standpoint, but the question had asked about how she would bring it up with management. So she answered that when prompted, but she didn't kind of answer the question immediately. So um, it was a good answer, but I couldn't give her a three for that. Um, for the resume, I gave her a three because she mentioned that on the resume, which I thought was really interesting. Um, because she obviously hadn't seen the job description or anything like that yet. Um, so that was kind of cool that that was already on there. And then the cover letter, I also gave her a three because she really placed a heavy emphasis on that in her cover letter, um, which I thought was really useful. Um, for the fit, I would give her a two. Um, she was really like professional and really open and warm during the interview, which it was really easy to talk to her. Um, and she had clearly done a ton of research. Um, she knew, you know, everything about her website and could quote like specific examples, but she didn't have any questions when I asked her how, you know, she thought she would fit in at the company or anything like that, which I felt didn't show a whole ton of like foresight about how will I fit into this culture? How do I want to fit into this culture? What is the culture like at this company? So I didn't feel like I could give her a three for that. All right, does anyone have any questions? Want to touch on something? Um, there was the there was one at the beginning. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Yeah, you were talking oh, about you were the gonna... bottom two between multitasking, giving mm. her a one and a two. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, this guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't feel like her cover letter really showed um, that much about multitasking. Obviously, like she mentioned it, mm -hmm. um, and it was more than just like a really small mention, but it wasn't extensive. So I wondered what you guys thought and how that lined up to the rest of the candidates so far. Do you think that should be a one? Do you think that should be a two? They kind of sound similar to the way Autumn did it. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, she kind of went in depth though, but it was combined with problem solving and multitasking. That's why mm -hmm. I gave her a two okay. for that. But that sounds like it's similar, so I'm cool with keeping that a two. Okay. If other people have different ideas, I'm not opposed to changing it. Um, and I'm good with keeping it a two as well. As for multitasking on the resume, mm -hmm. what on the resume, like, you said she had a lot of positions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she had held, um, do you have it in front of you? No, this okay. not. I, I was about to be like, whoa, you have to help. <laughs> no, um, she mentioned having held, like, several jobs at the same time. Okay. Um, taking on a lot of coursework, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, a lot of stuff overlapped, which I thought showed you know, kind of an intense level of ability to handle things. So, so this is also shown on Madison's resume, this overlap, so mm -hmm. I'm thinking if the overlap from the resume is what we're looking at as okay. terms of multitasking, then maybe we should change Madison's, Madison's to, to a three, three as well. Mm -hmm. um, this is for the multitasking, the multitasking for the resume. Resume. Yeah, resume. 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 So yeah. two and three. How do you feel about that, guys? Um, I feel, I think that's good too, because I think you well. and I kind of looked at the same thing. Mm -hmm. Autumn, I gave her a three as well. Um, okay. On the resume. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I have been looking at, and I thought, my question about Madison's is, does she have like a section for like skills or qualifications or anything like that? Okay. 
out of curiosity. I wondered if she'd maybe like listed that on there. But yeah, no, we can change Madison to three if you feel like that lines up better. Okay, yeah, I thought mm -hmm. it. So keep it more uniform. Yeah, right. a little more uniform. And would you change that to spreadsheet? Yeah. Just cool. so we're all got it. Same. They're terrible for you. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> all right. So that is Monika. That's a wrap. Let's get it. Next. A paper copy of the criteria if anybody wants to go. Beautiful. That. Okay. Yeah. I might refer to that in a moment. Yeah. Okay. So I interviewed Chris, and unfortunately, she did not give me her resume or cover letter, so it was pretty difficult to judge that. Um, however, I did see her job application, so I have somewhat of an idea of that, and then. But mainly, I'm judging off of the interview. Okay. Um, wait. Yeah. Just, then, just before we go on, so anything on the application that we kind of include in the cover letter section is that what we decided? Or yeah. In the cover. In the cover letter section. So if there's something that you saw in the application that you think that pertains. pertains, you can give her more in the cover okay. letter application section. Okay. Um, so first, for the ability to use social media, um, she did indicate in the cover letter that she was proficient. Um, however, when we asked her the question, um, the first interview question, she didn't mention any form of social media um, and didn't really display a thought for the audience um, or understanding of our company. So I gave her a one um, for the interview. Um, so since she, since she um, had a good understanding of social media in her job application, I'll give her two for and then I didn't see the resume, so I'm zero for that one. Um, for her ability to multitask, once again, um, couldn't judge anything with activities based on uh, the resume. Um, in an interview question, um, when we asked um, how would she handle managing two separate company campaigns at the same time, um, she didn't mention any sort of need for prioritization or specific time management skills for that. Um, so I'll have to give her one. And then for problem solving skills, um, so in the case of a hypothetical situation where I told her that she would have no experience with a certain social media platform um, and asking how she would handle this, she didn't mention the use of um, web tutorials and using observation of the social media platform, but she didn't propose any active engaging coworkers and incorporating the use of that new platform. So I was able to give her a two for the interview, but once again, zeros for cover letter. Um, as far as inter um, interpersonal skills, um, she exhibited an understanding for the importance of having a face-to-face -face communication in the presence of a conflict within the organization. Mm -hmm. um, so I recognize that, and um, she suggests addressing the hypothetical issue by understanding and addressing what the underlying common goal of the group would be. Um, but she didn't suggest any solutions or detailed information um, that would confront the problem. So I was also able to work two for that, and then zeros for the other. Um, as far as cultural fit, um, she, in her, in her interview, did not mention any form of social media, and that's really important for her position. Um, and also, she didn't bring the resume and cover letter, and it kind of shows a sense of lack of responsibility or lack of enthusiasm and um, didn't ask any interview any questions towards me during the interview so I definitely took notice of that and um, when she responded to certain interview questions it showed that she didn't really understand the company um, kind of directed questions saying um, oh I promote the product but at, at, we don't have a certain product per se and um, it kind of showed a lack of uh, research, unfortunately, in that company. So, gave her a one for her cultural fit. Do you guys have any questions or think change numbers around at all? Target um, right, I think the resume yeah. yeah, I know. 
Which is unfortunate. I'm sure she has things, it's just I. It's important yeah. that she would. Yeah, well, time, 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 time important. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, the, the timing also goes to her ability to multitask. And right, stuff. right. What that timing you give her. Factors in and, and the enthusiasm for the position. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I think this seems accurate. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. Everyone on the same page? Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you, Jackie. So, yeah, I had the pleasure of interviewing uh, <laughs> the candidate, <laughs> Marissa Alexander. Um, now, as far as um, relaying our topics back to the job description, she did a very good job in the interview. However, she didn't provide a resume or a cover letter, and by not providing those, um, she was lacking a certain element of professionalism that we were expecting yeah. for candidates for this job. The same. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's similar um, as the previous candidate. So unfortunately, we have to score zeros for those categories. However, those categories are weighted less. So we still get um, a true sense of her proficiency for the job based off the interview. It's just a little bit more information would have been really nice mm -hmm. um, with regards to previous history and things of that nature. <clears throat> but just starting right off the first category, um, ability to use social media. Um, during the interview, the candidate um, displayed um, proficient knowledge of previous experience with social media, but they didn't specify which websites or platforms they would use in promoting cam media campaigns. However, she did um, demonstrate a knowledge of um, creating virtual content that can be shared across and spread across different social medias. And so I thought that that was really good and a good demonstration of her understanding how you can create a video that can be shared on Twitter and social and mm -hmm. Facebook or across different social media platforms, which I thought was a really good um, stance to take on creating content that would be applicable to multiple platforms. She also... Um, displayed an understanding of communicating to our target audiences when it came to forming that content. She knows that our audiences aren't always bookworms, being elementary kids or high schoolers, and how it's important to tailor the visual aids that you're giving these demographics. So for social media, I gave her a two, and then a zero for the resume and cover letter as they were not provided. Um, Moving along to the ability to multitask, the candidate also didn't provide the resume or cover letter, um, but during the interview they did um, touch upon um, their ability to manage two campaigns in our hypothetical question. Um, she did an excellent job of talking about how the campaigns were different in the sense that they're different demographics and you need to prioritize them with a timeline and able to stay on track and also um, she touched upon the delegation of work within a campaign which under which um, explained how she understood that there are different um, focuses in a campaign and a lot of different uh, things that need to be touched upon and how that is best um, achieved when the work is delegated out between people um, and so um, for that, I gave her a two, but I would have liked to have seen previous experience multitasking through the resume or had she brought it up in um, conversation rather than just saying what she would do, like create a timeline, delegate the specific tasks and establish um, uh, deadlines and um, phases of a campaign. Um, with regards to problem solving, in those as we go. Um, with regards to problem solving, um, for our hypothetical question of uh, needing to discuss a problem with management, um, uh, with, or as well as um, the problem solving question with we are releasing a new media platform, how would you go about learning and engaging with it? Mm -hmm. um, she talked about engaging with coworkers who might also have pre previous experience with the platform or might also be learning it, um, as well as enrolling in online web tutorials. However, she did not suggest independently 
uh, like applying different projects or campaigns that she's done in the past. And again, that would have been nice to see in her resume. Um, and so for problem solving skills, I give her a two because she seemed very gung-ho on solving the problem, but did not want to reflect upon previous experiences or um, other things that could help her with problem solving. Um, so more reflection um, would have been uh, appreciated. As far as interpersonal communication skills, um, the candidate uh, exhibited very strong interpersonal communication skills. She um, talked about how um, by establishing clear expectations and a timeline and delegating work right off the bat is a good way of avoiding conflicts to begin with. And then by having weekly face-to-face -face interpersonal meetings, um, it's a really good way to troubleshoot problems up front as they arise, as well as modify expectations or the campaign as needed. Mm -hmm. And so for that, I gave her a three. And then again, uh, the resume was missing along with the cover letter, so I unfortunately cannot award points for that. Um, and then as far as the cultural fit, the candidate um, demonstrated minimal knowledge of ed age during the interview. Um, she mentioned proficiency with like the tasks that we questioned her on. However, she didn't use any content from our web page or any like intimate understanding of what the company was about with regards to our mission statement in formulating any of these or tailoring any of her responses. Um, so um, unfortunately she didn't seem too enthused. However, with her strong interpersonal communication skills, she combated that pretty well in the sense that she is someone that you'd want to work with. She's not gonna social loaf or um, go MIA. <laughs> um, and so I give, know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And so I give her a two for that. Um, and I can elaborate on that more if um, need be. Any questions or concerns? Yes. Okay. Um, so, in the first one, mm -hmm. social media use. Um, what was your reasoning for giving her two? She would have received a three had she like t specifically said what platforms she oh, would have okay. used, because then I would have been able to maybe probe as to previous experiences and I had she a better sense of specific platforms. Mm -hmm. I would have had a better sense on um, what platforms we could delegate with her in okay. charge of. Okay. But I did really enjoy her approach on creating content that we can share across media platforms. Mm -hmm. And so I felt like a two was warranted. Question? Yes. Um, do we have our application? Is there anything in our application since we didn't have the cover letter or the resume that might indicate? Unfortunately, no, we don't have, have that. that on hand. Um, no. Okay, that's cool. And yeah, unfortunately, we can only go with the things that we have access to. Yeah, that's true. Even more. However, um, in the overall, I do find her as a qualified candidate. I think she would be proficient in all the tasks, and she's someone that you can definitely work with. However, her lack of interest in like our mission statement and mm -hmm. the fact that she didn't have a provide the yeah. materials provide yeah. the material as well as she didn't have a follow up question at the end of the interview yeah. mm -hmm. showed real lack of interest in the company, but nevertheless still a, a viable candidate. Um, I have a question. That, yes. Um, this is kind of just a general for everybody in our scoring of the cultural fit. Mm -hmm. And it was only 5%. Because I had given on a 3 because I, based on her interview, but I used her other material as well. Because her interview seemed like she would be like fun, good to work with and a responsible member of the team. Mm -hmm. But then um, she talked, I mean, she showed like that she had looked at her website and stuff, but not as much as she did in her cover letter. Um, not that's nice, but the cover letter. So I was kind of using them all together. So should I give her a 3 or a 2? Because her interview was definitely less. I feel like it's I think do it all. I think yeah. the cultural fit is really yeah, like overall. your overall. kind of like inclination, yeah, mm -hmm. overall. Okay. I so think if overall you feel like she deserves yeah. a three, then we, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I just want to make sure we're all scoring mm -hmm. similar. I have ways. another question about Marissa. Mm -hmm. um, when she talks about multitasking, did she not mention like specific time management techniques for organizations? She systems? did um, mention forming a timeline. Okay. So that as well as 